Hey Kings! You are once again welcome to this Premiere Pro tutorial. And in this episode, we are going to learn text animation, with shapes. This is the first part of this video, next week, we will be learning the other part. So make sure to subscribe, so that you don't miss it. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro. We are going to start by creating a text. So select the text icon, and click anywhere in this window. You can also do that by hitting Ctrl T when using Windows, or Command T for Mac computers. Now, you can type your text. And in this tutorial, I'm going to position it at the bottom left as a lower third. But you can also use it as a title or any other thing for your project. After positioning it, let's move to the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't see the Essential Graphics panel, go to Windows and make sure Essential Graphics is checked. Now in the Essential Graphics panel, click on the new layer icon, and select Rectangle. Hold the Control or Command key on the keyboard, and drag the anchor point of the rectangle to the center. That's good, now, let's jump to the Effect Control panel and do some transformations. Ok, so under the Shape layer, uncheck Uniform Scale, and then, scale down the horizontal scale, and if necessary, scale down the vertical scale too. You can also change the color of the shape, and position it before the text. Ok, that's great. Now, add a keyframe to position at the beginning of the clip. Move some frames forward on the timeline, and adjust the position until the shape comes after the text. Great, now the next step is to highlight all the keyframes. Right click on it and then, ease in. Ok, so now, open up the position properties. Grab this first point, and drag it to the other side. Good. So now, we have this very cool animation, which starts slowly and ends very fast. Now we are done with the shape, so let's move to the text. If you have any question, make sure to leave it in the comment down below. I will love to answer your questions. For the text, we are going to do some masking. So make sure the text is selected, and click on this rectangle. It has created a mask on the text, so drag the mask to where the text is, to make the text visible. You can also open up the mask, to make sure all the texts are visible. Now, we have to animate the mask to follow the shape. So, we are going to position the mask before the shape. Now, in the effects control panel, add a keyframe to mask path, and select mask. Move frame by frame, by clicking on this icon and then, be positioning the mask to follow the shape. This may take some time, so take your time and follow the shape frame by frame, so that you can get a smooth animation. I'm going to speed it up, but it's the same process. But if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do that right now, and that will mean a lot to me. Just hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss next week's video. You can also follow my social media platforms, so that you can ask me direct questions and suggestions. And if you need a filmmaker's t-shirt, check the links in the description below. Okay, so now I'm done, it took me some time, but if you followed correctly, you should be having something like this. Now, we can see that the text follows the shape exactly and also quite smooth. But what if we want the text to disappear? That's that means we have to do it manually by changing keyframes or doing other stuffs like, masking again? No. But what we have to do is to right click on the text layer on the timeline, and then choose next, you can also give it any name that you want. Okay that's great, now that we have our nested sequence, look for where all the texts are visible, on the timeline. Pick the razor toot, and then, cut a visible part on the timeline. Now we have to duplicate the first clip, so hold the ALT key, and drag the first clip to the ending part of the clip. Ok, we are almost there, right click on it, and select speed or duration. Now, check reverse speed, and that's it. Let's have a look at our results. Now, you can see that the text reveals like how it was before, and disappear after some time. And this is quite easier than to add keyframes, or do another masking again. This is the end of the first part of this tutorial, and next week I will be posting the other part.
But please if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please support me by just hitting the subscribe button, I will be much grateful. And if you found this video helpful, just smash the like button, and don't forget to leave your comments, your suggestions and questions down below. Jesus loves you, see you next week.